Welcome to Manny's TV Talk, where we will talk about all of our favorite reality TV shows and news surrounding them. Grab a snack, a drink, and get comfortable because this starts now. Hello everybody and welcome back. Let's talk about the explosive first episode of the new season of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Let's get right into this. On a video that he and I made. So the attempt to use that and pretend it was someone else just to carry this narrative that he wants to put out that I've been cheating on him. All right, you guys. So we're talking about the first episode of season A because Love and Marriage Huntsville is back, y'all. The number one show on Bravo is back in action. So... This is going to be a good season. I'm telling y'all that right now. We begin the episode with a cold opening intro. Yet again, there's another person in trouble with the law. Last time, it was Kiki. This time, it's none other than Martel Holt. So they showed that he was arrested for communication harassment. Whatever that means, some type of phone charge. The first actual scene is Melody. And she's outside her house with some security people. She claims that given Martel's arrest, she needs to up her security to protect her, her children and herself. She then steps inside and her brother is there. He was cooking some breakfast. I do like their sibling bond. So Melody is still going on about this extra security that she needs. She goes into a little more detail about the arrest. She says she actually could have had Martel arrested a long time ago. But she said she was letting divine timing do its thing. She had put in the complaint over this message and there actually was a warrant since August. They just wasn't going to arrest him for this unless he like, for example, got pulled up by a cop or or something like that. When he got like got into actual contact with the law, then they would bring it up. So the brother is telling Melody, you know, I wonder what caused him to get arrested. He turned himself in and Melody says, I don't know. That should be something we should figure out because that is interesting. Then the brother asks where were the children when he was arrested? But Melody didn't even know. She didn't even know where the kids were. Melody says that, so this is what happened. There was a sex tape that Martel had threatened her that he was going to take the video, which by the way, the video was between them, Martel and Melody, and that he was going to release it on Instagram or something and pretend that it was another man. She says Martel it thinks he's untouchable and doesn't want to uh, face the consequences, but she says that he doesn't get to do whatever he wants. She then gets a FaceTime from Carlos King. He's so thirsty, child. He says, uh, well, he first of all, he says that her hair looks like it did in season one, but he's going over this podcast show that they're doing because he, he's on tour with his podcast, and the first stop is going to be Huntsville, and she's going to be his first guest. Carlos also says that he wants to make sure that she's okay after this arrest situation. So then we see the other side. We see Martel. He's free, obviously. Um, his mom, Miss Marlene, is there. And she's trying to figure out, how did they, how did you get arrested over a text message that he sent a year ago? They are shocked. Miss Marlene even says, be a woman. Don't get someone arrested over a text message. So here we learn the full picture a little better. So Martel says that he had the kids with him that day. He actually took one to tennis and um, he had the other one in the cars. He went to pick up a document from the records department, and that's where they told him there was a warrant for his arrest. And he actually called Miss Marlene to pick up the kids, so she went and picked them up, and then he turned himself in. Miss Marlene says that she feels so bad that these things are, these are the things that the kids are experiencing and going through because of the adults, you know, being Martell and Melody. She says the kids got like it's not, it's not their fault all that all this is happening to them. Martell says, why does she keep doing this stuff? Does she? want full custody he says they want to damage his image as a father he also hates that the way the crime was labeled makes him look like he committed domestic violence which he didn't that's not why he was arrested he admits though that he shouldn't have sent that text message all right so then moving on we see stormy coming out of her badass truck she pulls up to the fletcher's daycare now let me tell y'all something I love Miss Nell. Also, Stormy looks so good. She lost weight. She says that she's been going to the gym. So the first thing they talk about is Kiki Jabbar. Because there was some drama. So after the season ended, Kiki was like, it was revealed that she was feeding some inter- information to a blogger, which they didn't say who it was, but we know it's Anthony Lofties. So the blogger leaked all the phone calls and audios, and then Kiki blamed her mom. What? But uh, Stormy is still trying to ride for Kiki and give her the benefit of the doubt when we all know she's guilty. Then they get into the arrest. So Miss Nell says, 
yeah, Martell going to jail, I don't agree with that. She makes a great point and says, you should probably not send your ex to jail when you have all these children because it's something that can be resolved. You don't have to go to the extremes of having him arrested. They also talk about the podcast that they're doing, Martell, I'm, I'm sorry, um, Carlos and, and Melody, and Stormy says that she might attend. It was sold out, so that was uh, impressive. Now, the other drama. Oh my god, there was so much tea that these ladies were spilling. So the other piece of hot drama was that there was a producer named Sunny, a producer of this show, who is now married to Destiny's ex, Moses. <laughs> this is such a messy situation. So they were talking about that because they cannot believe that would happen. So speaking of which, in the next scene, Destiny is back, honey. She looks great as always. Um, not only that, she goes to Tisha, who is now in a new house, but I thought it was her new house. Man, it's an Airbnb. She, they said, she said the other one is still being worked on. So they talk about everything um, about this Destiny drama. Destiny is very taken aback because she never would have ever guessed that Sunny would have gotten with her ex man moses she thought they were friends and not to mention sunny was destiny's producer so sunny knew everything about destiny destiny says that there was even a time when sunny said that her and moses were like cousins so not only is it like backstabbing it's unprofessional and it's just all types wrong i mean at least uh sunny did call her to let her know that her and moses were dating but again the bar is so low but it was really hard for her for destiny to hear that so as soon as she told her that she blocked her ass destiny's still very hurt because y'all gonna remember too destiny and moses it wasn't like a little thing they were long term they have a lot of history as far as the carlos king podcast they both say that they're not going they ain't going to be nowhere around no millimeters tisha and destiny say that those are all a group of middle-aged women who are evil and demented destiny says well they might actually be a little older than middle age but yeah they're definitely not going so then we see the show it's time for the show this is carlos first show on his tour and like I said, there was a really great turnout. Melody looked really good. Her mother Vanessa was there and Stormy was in the audience. He also crowned, Carlos crowned Melody as the prom queen since she never went to prom. So they begin to have a conversation. They begin to talk. He asks if she ever realized that Love and Marriage Huntsville on the Oprah Winfrey Network would come to where it is now. Because remember, she is a producer. And she says that she knew there was something special there. He asks if there have been any regrets that she's had. Because she's shared a lot. And Melody says, no, no regrets. Because look at all these women. They're all here because of everything I've shared. They also talk about Melody sharing last season that she never felt satisfied in the bedroom. That she never arrived. Ugh, I think that is so vulgar. So then... I'm surprised that Carlos addressed this. He addressed that Martel, when the last season wrapped, Martel had gone on Instagram to say that that last dinner that he had with Melody was completely set up, that Carlos told him to go to bring her flowers, that production set him up, that it, were, it was all fake, they were all actors, and Carlos is addressing this. He's going off. He says, don't disrespect me or my production. Don't waste our time. Whatever. Last thing they talk about is the arrest. Carlos asks Melody if she ever thought it would come to this. And Melody says that when you have to make these types of decisions that will impact your children, it's always tough. But she says that there's been too many indiscretions. And even says that she wishes that she would have had her kids with someone else. Then Carlos Messias, he just can't help himself. He brings up that the next producer of the show married Destiny's man. So then he brings out Moses and Sonny to the stage. Man, this is so messy. I was just like, wow, this is too much. So <laughs> now they're, they're newly married and they walked up into that stage and then... They were about to begin to talk, but that's where the episode ended. So, wow, you guys, definitely an amazing episode to kick off the season. Um, We didn't see a lot of the main characters. We didn't see Marceau at all. We didn't see Kimmy at all. We didn't see Maurice. Actually, you know, speaking of Maurice and Kimmy, so at the very end when the episode actually ended, they kind of showed a little sneak peek of what's to come this season. And I, I get they can't show all of it, but I don't think they, they even showed... They might have showed Kimmy a few times, but they did not show Maurice at all. 
So that's definitely interesting. I know there's going to be a new couple that's going to be arriving. And this Destiny drama is definitely going to be at center stage for a lot of the season. And it looks like Miss Nell and Tisha are going to get into it. Uh, I know this is going to be a good season, y'all. But you guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Did you enjoy the first episode? Did you like how they came back? Are you excited for the season? What do you think about Melody uh, getting the father of her kids arrested? Do you think that she took it too far? Or do you think that's something she should have done? Let me know, you guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time. Y'all have a great one. Bye.